back to the time travel thing. Uh, rather than like you like uh, actually having to like yourself traveling back in time, if you could just I don't know how you would get it out there, but if there if you could just have a camera appear at a distant star and somehow with some kind of technology set up an almost in instantaneous feed looking at the Earth. Could you see the Earth in the past from if there was enough space between the camera and the Earth? Yes. So actually, the concept that you're talking about is a really, really interesting concept because, and that would probably require a whole other episode for me to well, talk about, to well, be honest. Didn't they experience that when they were flying past, uh, flying past Pluto? And they were receiving images from, like, basically it would have been the past by the time they received the okay. image, right? Yeah. So, so um, there's this whole concept of determining what does now mean. And I'm putting that in quotation marks. Um, because this would require a whole new episode to talk about this. Because um, if you think about it in that way... Um, Okay, let's just say we're two different distant planets, really, really far, like, I've, you know, number hundreds of light years away. Um, if we're sitting still to each other, and then something instantaneously happens, okay, let's just say, let's just say I'm right now at this very moment, and re remember, imagine you're on a distant planet, like, millions of light years, or hundreds of light years away, I mean. Um, if I am talking to my buddy right now, and you're talking to your buddy right now in your in your uh, planet, um, and we're sitting still to each other. That is currently what we define as now. But if movement is involved, certain weird things start to happen. In that, um, um, if space time has been described before by physicists like Brian Greene as like a loaf of bread, where um, every single moment from past to present to future can is like a slice on a loaf of bread of a loaf of bread. It's almost like a film strip, right? Where every single moment is like a moment on this film strip. So what we define as our, right now our present is let's just say one um, one section of this film strip. But when movement is involved, what we define as now and happening right now, it's actually drastically different between you and me. You basically would define now in on my planet as looking into the past if you were moving towards me. Yeah, if you're... Oh, wait, wait, no. It's moving away from me. If you're moving away from me, your now slice cuts into my past. So if you were to look at my planet and receive information from my planet instantaneously somehow, you would be receiving not me talking to my friend, you'd be looking, let's just say, 200 years into my past. So, and that would be your existence of, of uh, what your definition of now is. And if you were moving towards me, what would happen is that your, if you received instantaneous information from my planet in that very moment, you'd be looking into my future. So this is hard for me to fully explain without having a lot more time. So if you were to just accept this for what I'm telling you right now, um, the crazy thing is, if you think about it that way, that kind of implies almost like every single moment in history from the past to the present to the very, very far future, 200 years from now when maybe teleportation exists or whatever exists, every single moment is already laid out. In that con in in that way, it's every single yeah. yeah, every single wow. moment is just as valid because your now is just as valid as my now. So it almost implies that everything is already that has existed is still in existence, and everything that will exist is already existing. I know that this sounds crazy, but it's almost like having you know a movie, you know in a film strip, um, but having basically every moment of this movie laid out already, and having every frame being in existence and being just as valid as every other frame as existing in that very moment. Um, so that, but th this whole theory is very much like a thought experiment, right? 
Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we can't. Okay, so this is this is one of the uh, one of the things that's predicted by by the theories. Um, so um, obviously, we don't live hundreds of million light years apart, and so there's no way to technically get empirical actual evidence of this. But this is actually one of the consequences of relativity if you kind of push it 